What's going on, Legends? So I just wanted to start this video by addressing a clip that's been going around about me and IMO on yesterday's stream talking about other creators in the mobile gaming space in general. Uh, got another dono question for us. Uh, yeah, how do you two deal with hate comments online and hate in real life? It's hard to ignore. Could you spend a few minutes and talk about how we overcome it? So just to provide some context on the clip, I basically received a donation message asking what we think of hate speech and hate comments and how you know we deal with them as, as big content creators. So we were doing a sort of podcast, sort of kind of star stream, waiting for Apex to drop. I personally would just like to apologize for what was said. Uh, it was never my intention for any content creator or the community to feel like I'm sort of digging at them or hurting them at all, because I know the grind and the determination it takes. But again, that should not have been said at all. For those of you who really know me, I'm not a toxic or harmful person at all. I've always tried spreading positivity in the last few years especially in the mobile space and I've always been friendly and tried to help any content creator I can so the face of Apex Legends mobile remark um, I feel like at this stage since there's you know only a handful of content creators making content on Apex right I obviously know that you know the game's not here yet it, it could all change so with that remark I only meant you know at this current stage right now and I didn't mean for it to sound egotistical at all I'm, I'm really not like that and I know I'm still a relatively, you know, small YouTuber in this space. My personal passion on YouTube is to bring you guys, you know, funny content that you find entertaining and just to bring good vibes to the mobile space, including my community, other content creators and even their communities as well. Overall, what's been said has been said. And if I could go back and, you know, zip my mouth shut, I would. I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying and I'll still be here grinding for the passion just like everyone else. And this will be my last comment on any sort of drama going forward. Now for this video, what the hell happened yesterday? Let's check it out. Stab in the heart. The game is delayed. So big owls, boys, because the game was supposed to be releasing. It's half 12 right now in the UK. It's supposed to be releasing in the next three hours or three to four hours. But unfortunately, Respawn hits us with this post right here. Due to the current world events, we made the decision to shift the limited regional launch of Apex Legends Mobile. Our intention is to now release the game to participating countries on March 7th. Now there's so many of us content creators, so many of us waiting on minimal sleep, waiting for this game and it's going to be delayed again. If you actually click into the page or the actual FAQ page, it shows here, February 28th, 2022 update. Due to the current world events, we made the decision to shift it on March 7th Pacific Standard Time. So the only good thing out of this, guys, is we actually have a date. But again, try not to get your hopes up because if it could be delayed now, it may get delayed again next week, so I wouldn't get your hopes up fully. Now, there could be a few different reasons behind this. One, the game could have some last minute requirements and some last minute updates um, for the actual developers to fix the game and bring us a fully complete Apex Legends mobile. But as you can see right there, the starting sentence, due to the current world events, it sounds like obviously it's mainly because of the stuff that's going on in the world right now. Now, I'm not bringing any politics or anything into this video, guys, okay? We all know what's happening. It's very bad and one of the main reasons why they probably haven't released this is because they're shooting in the game now respawn and ea are a smart company they're not going to release a game that's got shooting and violence in it right with with everything that's going on basically but the only strange thing i can see is that they're only delaying it by one week where a lot of you guys will be wondering like you know why only one week like this this could still be happening next week as well so this is why i said don't get your hopes up fully for next week as well guys it's good that they've given us a, a specific date i remember one of the previous betas they delayed it by two to three weeks so at least they're only delaying it by a week if it does come next monday they haven't given us a specific time it says here participating countries on march 7th pacific standard time now it doesn't really say a time next to that number seven. That could be March. No, it has to be March 7th. So March 7th Pacific Standard Time. Now there's a few different outcomes. It could come March 7th at 12 a.m. or it could come on March 8th at 12 a.m. So just to give you guys some rough ideas of times and numbers, I'm in the UK, so I'm on GMT time zone. If it does release at 12 a.m. on the 7th, then we're probably going to get it in the UK around 8 a.m. because there's an eight hour time difference between NA and EU. Same as March 8th as well. So that's basically everything in this video, guys. It's the same FAQ as before. They haven't changed a, a hell of a lot of things. In the previous FAQ, obviously, they did change the 28th to the 1st because there was some confusion around the sort of two days and February only have, you know, 28 days. There was a lot of uh, people that were confused on that. But 
I'm just going to end the video there, guys. I'm super tired. A lot of you guys are super tired as well. We did have an amazing stream earlier, and I'm going to bring you that top quality content again. But it's very unfortunate this is happening. Um, it is what it is. We can't really do much about it. All we can do is wait a bit longer and just try to hope that when the game does actually come, it's going to be a lit game, and we're all going to have so much fun. And Hopefully, maybe in this next week, Respawn, if you're watching, they could give us some sort of timing as well, because that would make everyone's lives a lot easier. So I'm going to end this one there, guys. Thank you for supporting. It's been absolutely incredible. I'm now a full-time content creator, so I hope you guys can uh, stick with me on this long-ass journey of Apex Legends Mobile. Make sure you hit a like. Make sure you sub. Drop a comment with your thoughts down below. Nothing too negative. And um, I'm going to end it there. So thanks, guys. Peace.